Hey guys, it's me, Chris. Hoping the best of your life. I know that I am. I have my Clint Eastwood cigar in hand. It's been super amazing and pleasurable. Uh, kind of disappointed myself by pairing it with coffee. Now I overpowered it, so now I'm just sitting back enjoying this puppy. So I was chatting with a, a good friend of mine this past weekend who's visiting, and something that I was talking about is I am someone who I've always struggled to relax. I've always struggled to take time off. I've always struggled to just like sit down and just like not worry about stuff. You know what I mean? Like believe it or not, like I'm sure maybe I come across as easygoing, but really just not as easygoing as people tend to assume I am. Like I'm very type A, hyper vigilant, all that stuff. Like all the stereotypical back signs of childhood trauma and everything else that we all have, right? And so for me, before I moved to an ocean town, I was in a big major city and I love that place too. I go back whenever I can, but I saw myself and in this major city, like I would never stop. Like I would never just want to relax. I would never want to just like sit down and chill. And I was just always like, go, go, go 24 seven. It's always something, right? And there's so much energy. There's so much like fun that goes with that. But I've found myself really appreciating the ability to slow down, the ability to take a step back, have a breather. Like, if you told me years ago that I would take time to smoke a cigar in the morning, like, I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, no way. Like, I gotta be productive. I don't have to, like, have my morning routine perfectly down, conquer the day, blah, blah, blah. But now it's more like, you know what? You know what? Life is a journey, and all we have is time, right? We have nothing but time. So, you know, we're all gonna make a million dollars one way or another, or make more one way or another. Just some will take us shorter, some will take it longer. However, some of us will have way more fun doing it and love the life we lived and look back full of just joy and fun and bliss. And you know, let's be honest, like when you were 85 and you're looking back at your life, are you gonna be like, oh man, I'm so glad I'm worth like, you know, I'm worth a hundred million dollars instead of like, you know, instead of like, uh, 50 million or whatever, I don't know, like who knows, but I'm worth like whatever amount, or I have like all this property, or like, you know, or I bought that that big house or whatever, like maybe it's what's important to you, but I think you're probably gonna be more happy about how you spend your time. And it's so wild to me how I meet all these people who have, you know, wealth, who have the things we want, and they all want the same thing, like they wish they could be 20 again, they wish they could be 19 again, they wish they could have like that bright perspective, that cheery like, Lays over everything, right? Um, and so, you, so for me, like even though I moved to an ocean town, and like I'll probably make like a little bit less money than if I was a major city, right? Or considerably, I don't think considerably, but like a little bit less. For me, it's it's worth the trade-off because I get this amazing lifestyle where I feel like every day is an adventure for me, and I always have something like exciting and new, and I can like look up and see Spanish moss, like there's nature everywhere, there's water over there. Um, and that's so incredible to me. And so, as I said, I still like have that drive, that passion. I love the energy of like in a hustling, bustling area. And, like, and again, like I know a good friend of mine told me like, you gotta live in Manhattan for at least a year of your life, right? So I'm sure I'm gonna go move to New York at one point, just like for a year, just go chill, check it out. Or go move to San Diego for a year at some point and just like, just be there and abide um, and pay those California taxes, whatever. I'm from the South, but like, we're ugh, feisty about that. Texas particularly, which makes it worse. But as I said, like for me, it's like looking back, my perspective has changed so much where it's like, you know what? Like, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay abiding for a bit. And, you know, so a big thing my friend said that, because he finally, he's kind of like made it in his career in essence, where now he's making the big bucks, he's doing well. Um, you know, he's doing very handsomely. He's in that top income bracket now. And he's like, you know, what? I, and he made the comment that, he said, I would much rather work for like half the money I make now, but work like 20 hours a week or work like 15 hours a week. Because like time is just so much more valuable. And for me, that's the biggest thing, especially as you get older, is you realize like time is so much more valuable than money. And like once your bills are paid, once you're happy, um, you know, like hell, I can afford these. So it's like, what more else do I need really? You know what I mean? So, you know, it's all about the process. It's all about the journey. And that's where I see it, like, you know, the celebrities or whatever who seem to like 
go crazy after they've made it because they've lost their purpose or identity. And that's when I'm like, you know what? Like, even if it takes me a little bit longer to hit those goals or those big dreams I have, and I'll still hit them. Um, or if I've had to change my route to get to those big goals, those big dreams, which I've had to do, that's okay. And I'm just going to choose to enjoy the process and just kind of savor the moment because I know I'm going to look back when I'm like 45, 50, 60 and be like, those are the best years of my life. Like when I struggled when I was like 19 and 20, those were some of my fondest memories when I was just full of excitement and joy and energy. And I can look back and be like, that was so exciting. Even though at the time it sucked, like I look back with those rose tinted glasses, just, just that fondness for it. And so that's where I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to chill the fuck out. Enjoy my stogie. Take in nature. You know, notice I say I take in nature. Well, these are in my ears. It's like the most contradictory thing of all time. But, you know, as I said, I am a bit of a walking contradiction myself. So what can we say? But I'm just going to enjoy the process. And, like, for me, like, I have my main business. But I'm, like, I'm so excited doing that and doing YouTube, too. And doing my art or doing whatever it may be, right? And I just get so much joy from that. And the funniest thing too, yesterday, a friend of mine said, um, he sent me a text um, that read, um, like, I'm pretty convinced at this point, you don't actually have a job. Like, you don't really have a job. I'm like, yeah, I know, I'd be convinced of the same thing. And it's because, you know, <coughs> down the webs, <coughs> pardon, the web set my life up, is that, uh, like, I do work a lot. But I'm able to really work like intense bursts of like efforts rather kind of like when you're at the gym, right? It's like generally more effective to work on like intense bursts of effort than over like long extended periods of time. And I'm able to do that, which is like so cool to me. And so, you know, I'm not perfectly there, but I've actually done a pretty solid job of setting up my life decently. And I take a lot of pride in that. I pride in that. I can proud of myself for doing that because I wasn't sure I'd ever get that point in my life where I would allow myself just to enjoy life right uh, and so now I'm able to have some trips coming up see people see friends and just just sit back relax enjoy enjoy the ride right um, enjoy the ride enjoy it um, if you can't tell the Bill Hicks enjoy the ride left a really massive impression on me but anyhow um, yeah if you agree with my life philosophy let me know if you don't that's fine too thoughts debate is always appreciated but anyhow I do appreciate you watching. This cigar, there's no name to it. It's from a local shop that hand rolls. I used to the machine press, but like you can watch them like roll the cigar, cut the tobacco and everything in front of you. And like the whole shop is humidified and you just go, you grab a stick you want and you walk out in the back alley downtown and just live a smoke. And either people are like, you're cool. Or they like run to the other side of the street and look at you like you're a a three-headed monster, as someone would say. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Chris. Comment below, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see you later, right? All right, bye-bye.